Okay, let's now shift focus entirely to a huge milestone that took place today. India has achieved another significant milestone in space exploration following the successful moon mission and ISRO's sun mission. You have Aditya L1 that's now entered the halo orbit around the L1 point. The satellite that is equipped with seven advanced payloads will remain in this orbit for the next five years. Remember, it was launched in September this past year. Now, Aditya L1 aims to study the sun, the outer atmosphere of the sun specifically. It's going to be collecting valuable data to enhance our understanding of solar dynamics and the impact on Earth. Prime Minister Narendra Modi extended his heartiest congratulations to the entire team that was behind the efforts. Take a look at some reactions at this big milestone for the country. Well, it's, uh, it's a great year for ISRO, a great start for the year. Joining me right now, Chairman of ISRO, Mr. Somnath, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. I'm told it's a complex mission, as you've said earlier. Uh, how was the last few minutes, sir? Was it now racking? No, it's, uh, it has been cool. Hmm. We were knowing uh, very well that it's going to happen hmm. because we had done the work very well ahead and did all the simulations to make sure it is going to happen very well. So all of us were enjoying the moment, not, okay. uh, not tense at all. Okay. So what next, sir? Uh, no. We are told it sends an image every one minute and so also maintaining it there. Yeah, maintenance will happen, uh, already happening now. So okay. after it has been placed, it is now looking at uh, power generation and bringing back the battery up. After that, it will we will be tracking that orbit and then see in next six hours mm -hmm. to see it is uh, at the right place that we wanted. So that will happen. After that, there are con continuous operations on various ways to look at the payloads to be switched on. Maybe you can add some po uh, points. No, Oh, the uh, characterization has to happen now, payloads that will go on for a couple of months mm. and then the data will be compared with the ground test results mm. and the calibration will be verified that what has been measured on ground and what we see in space will be correlated mm. so that finally the outcome what is going to be uh, given out as science, science outcome will be validated. Okay. That is the uh, phase that is going to happen from now to maybe next few months, okay. three, four months it is going to happen. Hmm. So, what are the challenges that you would look sir in this mission in the next few in months? In this mission there are many challenges. For example, I will tell uh, Dr. Narayan and propulsion. Hmm. It tells some few points. See, <laughs> see, first and foremost is taking the spacecraft, which is a yes. 1480 kg space, uh, spacecraft to the elliptical orbit hmm. of the Earth and PS will be perfectly placed in the required orbit with 20 km dispersion, 19,520 km perfectly it has taken. So all the propulsion system, vehicle system, everything cohesively worked and we have taken. Second challenge is... I think it's a great feat. You know, last time I came here, I went to the, uh, that uh, double I, double S, uh, the, that Institute of Space uh, Science Technology. So I've seen the space... Uh, program for many years. I've been myself uh, earlier member of Space Commission. I think a moment of great pride for us. Uh, just like Chandrayaan was. I'm happy to learn that the Aditya 1 mission is uh, nearing its uh, final goal. Uh, the long distance travel of 1.5 million kilometers have been covered very precisely and I understand it is reaching the final location uh, in a, within a few hours. Uh, then onwards, the thrusters will be fired in such a way that the spacecraft takes a stable orbit at the Lagrangian point from which the observation of the sun can be made uh, uninterrupted uh, continuously for next few years.